Hello community, great that you're back. Grok 4 is available as a new AI model and I'm gonna test it live together with you. You know that I always test here a Sonnet 4 syncing, an O3 model, a Gemini 2.5 Pro model here in my videos and I have a standard causal reasoning test, a logic test. And since here, if I want to have access to Grok 4, I'm sitting here in Austria, in Europe, I can't have this here with my free plan I would have to pay 300 bucks a year to update to Grok 4. Therefore, I decided to go here on an open platform, LM Arena, and perform the test over there. So let's start. Hello, community. Yes, we have the new Grok 4 published here yesterday. So beautiful. Let's do here my typical test. Here we go. We agree to everything because we just want to see here the performance of Grok 4. Okay, the first thing that we notice, it's a thinking model. As you see, it's not starting right now, but it is thinking here about my very specific logic puzzle. I have multiple videos of the identical puzzle where I test out other programs here, and you have everything from Gemini 2.5 Pro to the latest Sonnet 4 and Claude 4 models, and today we're gonna test Grog 4. So, really interested, really fascinating. Let's see how long it takes till we have the first reply here, the first token generated here by Grok4 that provides an answer. Right now, it is hiding here its syncing process. Interesting. Okay, now we have a solution, Grok4. You know what? Let's make it bigger. How can I make this bigger? I can't make this bigger. Okay. So, it just gives me the solution, 17 presses. Okay, step-by-step -step state table. Okay, and this is here the reasoning, beautiful. And then, as I requested, I want to see here in a beautiful matrix structure, you press here what button and it's what is happening, what is the next floor, how many energy packages you have left, how many tokens, what flags did you activate, what code cards do you have, and what anything that you want to note down. So here you have now a peek inside the reasoning process here of Grok 4. Okay, 16, 17. So we arrive here at floor 50. Beautiful. Okay, goal reached. Okay, great. The summary is here. Total prices is 17. Final resources is still has five energy packages left. And we have enough token left. Beautiful. And the code cards are four and just two are required. So this is an overshoot, but okay. And random trap hits is zero. This is excellent. And I also ask, can you give me anyhow a proof or a sketch of a Pareto optimality of your solution? And it tells me 17 presses. And it tells me no better combination exists with fewer presses, more resources or more code access. I explored more than 50 alternative path and here's why this is optimal. Maximum code requires at least 17 presses. It is not that you have to get the maximum number of code cards. Two are absolutely enough to pass the test. Then we have here no high resources with the same code. Okay, this is not required. No shorter path with same or more codes and comparable resources. It is absolutely focusing here on the code cards. I don't know why this is just one of the elements. Other constraints satisfied and no better Pareto trade-off. Okay. More codes. Yeah, exhaust is now. This solution meets all constraints and is the optimal solution. Now you know that this is not correct, no? Because, like, as I can show you in the other video, we can go down to eight. So the summary stats is less impressive. So what I say is, okay, I say, please validate your result, go through each and every step again, and then try to find a shorter path. So let's do this. I don't know how long we have to wait right now, but since it is now computed the first time, I suppose we are working here in cache, in memory or anything at all. But yes, here we are, you're beautiful. I address main question. I'll simulate the entire sequence, beautiful. And search for a shorter path, this is great. Full re-evaluation, press A. Now we go through the 17 presses here, the button presses on the elevator. Okay. 
it's a little bit too fast for me to read and think about if this is really makes sense about the argumentation. But I want to let it run here in real time so you can see here the real time result on the platform lmarena.ai. Press 17, this is it. Okay. Minor error in original. This is not nice. There was an error. Okay. Then second point is search for shorter path. We stay here online and then I scroll back. Oh, shorter path found. Yeah, a 15 press sequence is better. Beautifully. So you see, you just have to ask, hey, system grog for improve yourself. Ends at 15, not 50. Error in my search. Okay, this is... <laughs> no, this is not what we want. No shorter path exists. Okay, the original 17 is minimal. So let's start here from the very beginning. Yeah? Okay, I think press this. Okay. And then here. Yeah. Now, this is now a major mistake. Minor error in the original. I said floor 48 even. Correct, but 42 cap to 50 is an assumption. If no cap, this move is invalid because it moved the elevator to floor 52. But assume cap for validity. Oh wow, so it comes up with an own rule and interpretation that it says, yeah, it's okay. If I have a 50 floor building, I go with the elevator to floor 52 and then I cap it to the floor 50. And the search for a shorter path, just go here to the end result, is no shorter path exists. Okay, so the cap is not what I can accept. This is an illegal move. So where you see, I say, hey, if you cap floor 52 to floor 50, this is an illegal move. You have to land on floor 50 precisely. Please correct for this specification in your solution. So Grok 4 comes back. Beautiful. Again, I hope we don't have to wait another time, but it is able to find here an immediate solution. Unfortunately, I do not see here on this platform any reasoning step by Grok 4. So I have no idea what is happening. And this is something that is not recommended. Highly would appreciate if I could see at least where Grok 4 is, what it is thinking, which methodology it is applying. But as always with proprietary non-open source model, they are all hiding here somewhere in a black box, in a little corner in their black box. So there we go. And we have now a solution. And as I said here, please correct this. And now Gra comes back. My corrected solution about 10 minutes later. Okay, it's illegal and the final landing must be exactly the floor 15 and no capping. Beautiful. After exploration, I found a valid 16 press sequence that meet all the goal and constraint. So the exact sequence of less than 20 button presses. Beautiful, this is correct. Note on the random roll, yes. This is a valid legal run. Um, yeah, since the puzzle is great and then it explains something, we just look at the result. We have here the matrix, where is the exactly, which step, which button is pressed, here the new floor. The energy packages, the token, the flags, the code cards. Beautiful. So let's go down. Oh, at eight, disabled. Small error in the sequence planning, adjusted sequence. Okay. Let's recalculate the sequence. Okay. There's a corrected sequence. Okay. Can I remove one? The buffer is necessary. Okay. With syncing, this, the syncing process is in the answer. Okay. So a full table now for the corrected sequence. Okay, how many steps do we have now? 16, 17. Okay, so we have 17 steps and from, oh, but look at this. We had floor 48, we had floor 48, we have floor 48 and we don't move at all. Stay enables double D, mirror toggled, is back to original. I invert to invalid. Further adjustments are needed. Okay, count 18. To shorten the buffer and the roll add presses, let's summarize this. Okay, it is thinking about an alternative path. Okay, Grok4, you do the thinking. Need more energy bonuses. Okay, thinking. We have a new sequence. Okay, this is an intermediate result. 
full stable table is too long for space, but here are the key transitions. Okay, 17. Wow, this is too low. No, this is also not working. Let's go to the original prefix. Okay, now it's it's searching, but it's not finding anything. Hey, here's a perfect. Okay, final floor 50. 19 presses. Oh, wow, this is really at the absolute limit that I would accept this as a solution. This works without random, exactly 50. So this is now the corrected solution. So, okay, Grok 4 presents us now a correct solution. Total presses 19. Final resources 5. This is within the limits. Token 6 within the limit. Code count is now 3 within the limit. And random trap 0 is excellent. Beautiful. It now it proves that the no shorter than 19 steps exist. No shorter with two code cards, no higher scoring. This is here Pareto optimal. This meets all constraints and is optimal under the specification. Yeah, that no illegal moves are allowed, which should be clear right from the start. And this is it. So we have now the final answer. The total presses is 19. So just to give you a comparison here from the other videos that I showed you here, the other solution, the Mistral Small 24 beat it 10 steps, Sonnet 4 11 steps, 03 9 steps, and Gemini 2.5 Pro. We did here the first run with 10 steps, but then as you see the second half of the video will further optimize it. So better than 10 step is currently one of the best solutions for my personal causal logical test. Now what are the reasons that Grok here on the very first day is not really achieving here a top position given here just my single causal reasoning test. I don't know really about here the implementation here on the very first day of Grok 4 on LM Arena. I hope you enjoyed it. If you subscribe, I see you in my next video.